Coming up on Look Today, well, presidential candidate John Kasich visits Saratoga Springs, and I've got details. And a Glens Falls lady wins a $20,000 shopping spree at Price Chopper. More on that coming up, and we have an update on the high school juried art show at the Hyde Collection in Glens Falls. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, I sit down with Diane Bargill. She's music professor at SUNY Adirondack in Queensbury, and she's here to talk about this Thursday's recital at the college. I also sit down with Kathleen Pingeli. She's an event coordinator for the upcoming benefit concert for the Heart Association at the Troy Music Hall. And we're joined by Matt McGuire. He's a singer-songwriter who will be performing that concert. Plus, we have your weather for the Tri-North Counties. But first, we've got these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, presidential candidate John Kasich came to Saratoga Springs yesterday as part of his visit to the capital region. Now, along with his stop in the Albany area, the Ohio Republican also attended an interview conducted by Fox News at the Saratoga City Center. Now, the event was packed with eager spectators, totaling an estimated 2,000 people. Now, this was a big day for Saratoga Springs with road closures, parking restrictions, and an impressive display of crowd and traffic control by the Saratoga police. Now, for some reason, the media was not invited, so we couldn't get inside this event to cover it. Only Fox was allowed because they were doing an interview for the Hannity program. So that's why we don't have any video of the event itself. Now, concerning the Saratoga police, once again, it's proving that they can handle big events. So we spoke to Mayor Joanne Yepsen about playing host to this occasion. Uh, we, you know, the police chief is ready. Our city handles thousands and thousands and thousands of people at a time for festivals. This is what our city does best. Well, in other news, a Glens Falls woman was awarded a $20,000 shopping spree at Price Chopper. It's part of the Bags to Riches game. Now, for every $25 spent using an Advantage card, competitors receive a game ticket. Now, we spoke to the store manager, Marty McDonough, about the competition. Today, we're going to award a $20,000 shopping spree to one of our customers for the Bags to Riches game, uh, 15000 in Price Chopper gift cards, and a $5,000 check. Now, Joyce Thompson, who won, lives right near the Price Chopper branch, and she shops there daily. Now, we spoke to her about this exciting news. Well, very excited because I try to think of everybody I can treat to something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's face it. What would you spend $20,000 in groceries on? <laughs> All right, switching from news to weather. Well, today the sun came out with temperatures in the mid to low 40s. It was cold out there. So let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, you might remember the story we, start, we were telling you about the other day. Uh, pre, uh, the premiere of the high school juried art show took place this past Sunday at the Hyde Collection in Glens Falls. More than 300 people attended the show to honor the 80 students who were chosen to have their work showcased. Now, a mixed-media portrait titled Rick, which is what you're looking at, by James Morrison of Cambridge, was chosen as best in show. All right, the show, by the way, will run through May 1st. In other news, the South Glens Falls Water Tower, that holds up to 800,000 gallons of water, is in desperate need of a paint job. The work will cost about $1 million. That's a lot of paint. According to South Glens Falls officials, the village does not have the money to pay for it. Painting the tank which to some might sound like a simple task, is essential to protecting the quality of the metal. Now, the paint job could be completed for half that price, but the paint would not last nearly as long. Well, that makes sense. If the village finds the means to fund the necessary work, the paint could last up to 20 years. Well, we're going to keep you updated on this very important story as it develops. Up next, I sit down with Diane Barjo. 
She's a music professor of SUNY Adirondack, and she's here to talk about the Thursday's faculty recital at the college. And I also sit down with Kathleen Piggelly. She's the event coordinator for the upcoming benefit concert at the Troy Music Hall, and we're joined by Matt McGuire, who's a singer-songwriter who will be performing at that concert. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.